Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do an overview and a first impression about Project Cars 3. Now, yesterday I streamed it for a few hours and I'm still aggressive, the Dravatars. So let's have a look at the game. As you can see, I play with a wheel. We will go to the settings first. So you have a lot of settings you can do, well, lots and another lot. I basically started with everything off, but then in the game it started rain and I was sliding all over the place. You have the controls, you can see you have um, different steerings that you can use, uh, also the G, different Gs of the steering. And then this, uh, you can assign, of course, feedback and all that, the HUD, visuals, audio and performance, the system. Now I'm playing on 2K screen, uh, everything is on Ultra, well basically everything is on Ultra and yet it still feels like I'm playing on my phone. It, the car, the details and all just, I don't know, it's just doesn't get me this game. Now as you can see here, the showroom, um, there are a lot of cars, you got loads of classes, you can see this is also something that will come back into the video. I'm not. You need to be careful with what you do with the cars. So you see, there are like loads of classes in these things. What will mean you need a lot of money in this game. Then what else do we have? Well, then basically we go to the garage. As you can see, I have one, two, three cars. That's it. Road E and D. Then you have some custom events. I didn't do that yet, so I need to start it, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And then we will go to the career. Now, there is no story in this game. This is just pure driving, but you need to get some points. You need to do this, you need to do this. This, as you can see, there are a lot of stuff you can do and drive. You also have challenges. Uh, the thing is, Everywhere where you look, you see money. You need money, money, money in this game. So you need to be grinding and driving a lot. Now, it is normal in these days that you have to do that. But if you want to go faster, well, 25,000, I only have 13,000 because I had to tune a car. Now, then here, for example, we have road E. So yeah, I have one, two, three, four. Big events, and that's uh, the subcategory are the other ones. Now, yesterday I had two bugs. I was under the time that I needed, but yet it didn't count. It said fail, fail, fail. Now, let's have a look at the championship that was bugged out for me. I couldn't do that. Uh, the other championship crashed for me, the game. So what do you need to do? For example, let's go to the 90s uh, hot lap. Now, I had yesterday a problem because I didn't really notice it. As you can see on the right screen, there is PIF293. So let's go to the garage, go upgrades. Now, there you see at the top in pink, you have road E, road D, road C, B, A, and hypercar. Now, I was looking like, ah, oh, the car is sliding and doesn't go very well. So I upgraded a few things with the less money that I have um, and suddenly I couldn't choose a car because I didn't really notice the big pink bar for some reason um, so you need to be careful if you put a little bit more on it you go over the top and you can't use a car in that so just be careful with the upgrades have a good look what you want to upgrade because it's very important you are very limited in money at the beginning uh, this is a, this is 80,000 but then it probably go to uh, way different class so that's something you really need to look at now what else do we have we have customize we have team so we can do the manufacturer we can do all kind of stuff so let's like say delivery so we can get already made deliveries well i can't get that one let's say i'll take this one and then or we can take this one. Let's take just the standard one. Blue one. Uh, you can do your license plate. You can change that. I won't change that now. Well, my name is too long anyway. Uh, you have some rims that you can choose. That's all just visual, so that doesn't really matter. 
You have your tires. Now, Hankook is not a bad tire. And Yokohama, also very good tires. The thing is, I only see visual, so that's not that it does anything on performance, but I'll just take that one. And that's it about this. You can also do custom. You can paint the car, there's a lot of stuff to paint, so you can basically do all kind of stuff. There you go, now I have this one, and then you have all kind of decals. You can put a race number on, you can actually change the number itself, as you can see. There you go, and the background, but I don't need that. My license plate, and the rims, tires, and all that. So you can do a little bit of tuning of the car. And you can of course sell the car. I wouldn't do that. So let's get into the car. Now, as you can see, I've done a few races. I'm still... The thing is, there's a car that I upgraded and it started to drive a little bit better. Also the steering. Now, I was driving fair and normal driving. So actually how you should drive in a racing game. Now the thing was, at the end of the stream, I got so tired of those aggressive gravitars that I also started driving very aggressive. Um, using them in corners, uh, going very hard on my steering and all, and actually won way more races. So I'm not sure yet about the racing style in this game. Um, let's go do this one for example. But this is a hot lap. I'll just take another one. Pace center mode yeah, is all about consistency. We don't need to know that, I've already seen that. Uh, so let's do... No, I'll take a race that I've already done. There you go. Now let's have a look at the Dravatars. On a straight, they are pretty fast. But just, the graphics just don't do much to me. It's, it's like I'm playing on a big mobile phone at the moment. There you go. So let's have a look. What can you do? Difficulty. Um, well, like I said in the beginning of the video, I put everything off because I'm used to a Forza and the crew. So everything should be off for me, but I keep it on because on the wheel, I didn't test it with the pet yet, but on the wheel, when it starts raining, you slide all over the place. Um, I will look into the steering wheel uh, better. Here you have the AI aggression. Um, I saw somebody, I can't remember who, but they changed it and yet they were still very aggressive. But I'll leave it like that. That's the assist. Then what you have also costs money, you have the tuning. So basically you have the balance from the game. Then if you want to have your own tuning, you can eat it. And that's all things you get. So you need to go further in the game to actually, well, you need to buy all the stuff uh, for the car and then you can fine tune it. Now I'll just use the stock one because I need to look into the tuning. I am a legendary tuner in Forza Horizon 4, um, but I don't know this game yet, so I need to figure out how the tuning works. These are just the uh, general settings and then you can just quit. So this is just stock, stock, stock. So let's have a look at the Dravatars and the handling of the steering. I'll change the view. As you can see, the graphics, I don't know, it's just, it just it's something missing. I don't know what, it's just missing something. I'll also go into the car, there you go. As you can see, this is an all-wheel drive and I'm sliding very easy, very easy in this uh, car. Also, you get a lot of penalties in this game. 
If you go with your tire a little bit of a corner, um, it will instantly say got track and then you will be in ghost modes and you will be slowed down. So now I'm driving basically careful. Because I'm still learning the physics of the game. Now the physics of the game I'm also not sure yet. Um, Maybe because I'm used to other racing games, although I played Oh yeah, Cars too. But I'm not impressed yet with the game. Now I must say the force feedback at all is good with the wheel. I don't have any much complaints. Um, But the steering, the cars don't steer very well, but then again, it probably needs to be fine tuned the cars. A stock car never drives decent in the game. But my, my, the biggest fail to me is that it looks like um, a mobile game. Oh yeah, this is what you get. You get an invalid lap time and the car starts sliding if you hit something. Now I think my assists are off at the moment. Because I changed it back to everything off yesterday. Here you need to be careful. Now you see assist, every assist off, you need to be careful with the car, you really need to be careful. I'll do a next race with assist on and you will see the difference with the car. But then again, if you really like racing, you just put everything off and Congratulations, there you go. Congratulations, you won it by a mile, great driving. So let's continue. I did all my events. You also get um, a percentage on the upgrades. Not this time, because I already did this race. Ah, oh, now I get 5% discount. So you need to take advantage of that 5%. I'm not gonna upgrade the car because I'm keeping in that this class. So let's go have a look at Maybe the home run, that's also a race. I'll put every assist on. But the thing is, uh, we are at the beginning of the game, but still it's not easy to do it with a steering wheel oh, as well there you go it's raining so you really need to have assist on otherwise i'll be sliding all over the place so the tuning will be just a balanced one difficulty i'll put oh everything is on the assists braking assist i don't need that steering assist i don't need that so basically everything was on Oh, yesterday I had to put it off. Okay, so everything is on and we'll have a look to be in the rain. Power and be gentle on the brakes in these wet conditions. Here also, it just... On a 2K screen with ultra settings, it still looks like a, a mobile game. I don't know. Start. As you can see, uh, it's, it's very easy, very easy to start sliding. I need to have very steady total control. Also at the beginning, the game just feels 
very slow. I feel like I'm driving my grandpa, I don't know. As you can see, a little bit too fast and I'm sliding all over the place. Now, to be honest, what I see in a racing game, if you look at the other racing games, this one is like a mobile game or when you go to a carnival you put one euro in it and you can just have fun. Gravitas are actually very aggressive. You should see the other races I did on my stream. I literally had to knock out some Gravitas to actually win. As you can see, it's very annoying how they drive. They drive in front of you, they brake. I just don't have a real good racing feeling. I think this is like, for now, it's like more like, um, this is the final well, let's have some races. If you keep pushing, you can take this win. And that's it. I think if they would put more effort in the in the graphics, it would look way better for, for now. I'm just playing on a big phone. But then again, you also need to get used to the handling of the car. The car needs to be upgraded and everything. As you can see, the Rotas, you see how easy you start sliding. Is this game worth the money? That's of course a one million dollar question. To me at this point, after driving a few hours, I would say 70% not, 30% yes. Maybe after a week playing it more, it will get better. Uh, that's also what the dramatized do, they Talk just come from behind and today. they pass you. So you need to be very aggressive in this game. Now there's also a race that I had to get a certain amount of points. Um, that's something new, so I can't tell much about all the rest of the game, but for now, it's just racing, grinding um, on a mobile game to me. So as you can see, you have the D, you have all these things. Now you have challenges, but yet again, you need to buy them. Now I can buy one challenge, but then I have a problem in the career that I can't upgrade my cars and trust me you need to upgrade your cars so what's the verdict of the game after playing a few hours i'm not impressed as you can see here on the main screen it's like yeah i don't know if i would play it on my mobile phone it would look the same probably even sharper because it's uh, smaller i think they missed the ball with Project Cars 3 this time. I hope there will be updates or anything that do something. Um, but then again, I will play, play, play and see how the game unfolds uh, when everything is getting done. Here we have the custom events where you can choose whatever you want, all the tracks and everything like that. So. Well, there you go. That's my verdict. It's like a big
big mobile game on PC, you need to be a little bit aggressive against the uh, Dravitars. It doesn't really matter the difficulty. Um, be careful with the tuning of the car. Uh, otherwise, you will have to pay to go back on the standard uh, tuning parts. Uh, and just keep grinding the game because everything costs a lot of money. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you a little bit uh, inside of the game. Um, I'll be posting more videos about this game. I'll be driving more uh, also on the stream. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.